Yep. So how is everyone doing? I'm Amobi Kugo. We're going to be talking about how to make money via Amazon as a professional athlete or student athlete to be pending, depending on how NIL shapes out and which state or which college you're playing for. Uh, so I'm going to keep it nice and short. I'm going to go through a, a list of different ways you can make it, uh, make money via Amazon, and then go through kind of like an example of what that would look like. So before I get started, uh, for context, this is on Clubhouse um, for if you're listening on YouTube or watching on YouTube. And if you're on Clubhouse, this will be recorded on YouTube. So if you miss it or catch it late, then you can get on our YouTube and watch it there. Um, so with that being said, let's get through. So Amazon, obviously everyone knows Amazon, whether you use it or not, you know about Amazon. It's basically changed the game from a retail shopping perspective, uh, from a consumer perspective. Um, if you need something, you put it on Amazon, you get it within 24 or 48 hours. So with that being said, here are some ways that you can make money via Amazon. Amazon affiliate link, Amazon merch, Amazon services, and private label, publishing your own book, Amazon flex, uh, being an Amazon influencer. And one of the new ways is Amazon live. So we're going to touch on each topic really quickly. Um, and then kind of give you guys um, an example of each. If you have questions, if you're on Clubhouse and have questions, just raise your hand. Um, or if you have any insight into your you as an athlete making money um, via Amazon, just um, don't hesitate to raise your hand and get up on the in the group or whatever. So Amazon affiliate uh, is the like basic way, simple way. Um, to make money via Amazon. So basically you earn a commission based on products that you promote and if people, uh, if people buy. So for example, uh, Amazon affiliate account, if I were to, if I were to say that I had a favorite book or I had a favorite uh, product that I use, like uh, for example, I just bought the, I just bought like the air fryer Ninja on Amazon. So if I were to say like write a blog or post a tweet and had like an Amazon affiliate link for that product and someone were to see it and use my link and then buy it, I would get a commission off that. So a lot of people um, outside of the athlete space, like bloggers and influencers use Amazon affiliate links to make money. So for example, my top 10 favorites that I read in 2020, um, you create like a whole blog post or a whole video post. Um, write down your Amazon affiliate links with for each uh, product that you or each book that you promoted and then hopefully the hope is that you know your followers or your fans or whoever's watching that video will click on that link and whether they buy a product that specific product sometimes it works where if they use your link buy another product within a certain time period you will still get a commission because you're driving people to Amazon through your your content and through your affiliate link um, another example would be if you if we talk about it from an athlete perspective, um, is my favorite um, things to use to work out. So obviously last year was COVID. A lot of people bought home products, uh, home gym products. So if you were to create like a whole list of home gym products and you're like, what I used to work out in my home gym, and had affiliate links. A lot of a lot of vloggers, you know, will affiliate link their their video equipment. So this is a simple way for athletes to kind of make um, passive income or, you know, side income or additional income just by sharing their affiliate links. A lot of people want to know what athletes are doing. A lot of people want to know what athletes are using. Not every athlete can get, uh, how can I say, not every athlete can get an endorsement deal. Um, so with that being said, this is, a, this is a unique way for athletes to take advantage of their platform. And you know, whether it's one commission or two commissions or 10 commissions or 100 commissions, that's still money that's going into your pocket that you didn't have. So that's an Amazon affiliate link. Um, next, I wanna to touch on Amazon Merch. So Amazon Merch is a platform similar to, you know, everyone's talking about Shopify and Printful and Printify. It's basically a platform where you can create your own merch. Um, and via drop shipping, you're able to get your merch out to a bunch of different people. Um, so, for example, if you're a graphic designer, if you're good at graphic designing, or if you are, um, or if you if you know a graphic designer, so for example, I use my brother's best friend to create graphics for me. I'm able to put that on a on a shirt or apparel, 
and create a uh, create a, a merch site. I personally don't use Amazon Merch, but if I were uh, to use it, I would you know get a graphic designer, um, upload it to the merch account that I need to, uh, and then promote it from there. So this is a great way, especially for athletes to you know, enhance their brand in the sense of like promote their brand if they have like a personal logo or personal phrases that mean something to them or just like to make merch um, and they don't, or if they want something outside of like a Nike contract or Adidas or Puma or New Balance or whatever, they just want funny or meaningful merch that they can promote that's more catered to them. Um, this is a great way to do that. Obviously, um, through drop shipping and through using a, a third party, they're, they're gonna take a cut. Um, of the sales of the revenue. Um, but if you don't want to handle inventory and you know having to write down the addresses and deal with the uh, just deal with the logistics of you know having merch that you can sell to your fans or you know embrace with and engage with your audience, uh, Amazon merch is a is a great way um, to do that. I personally use Printful and Shopify. Um, but I do, and I probably will dabble with Amazon Merch just so I can get a better sense of it as I continue to tell people about Amazon Merch as a, as a, a viable option to make money. Um, another one is uh, obviously Amazon started off making books or sorry, not making books, selling books. And, you know, a lot of self-publishers are on Amazon. As an athlete, I've been a big uh, proponent, uh, I've been a big supporter or a big advocate for athletes every athlete should have a book or some sort of course or some sort of ebook that they have on record um, everyone's story is unique especially as an athlete um, and whether it's about how you made it pro or you know 10 steps to making it pro or you know what you learned the 10 lessons you learned from your favorite coaches whatever it is i think every athlete should have a book um, before i get on a tangent Amazon is a way where you can self-publish a book and make money through uh, Amazon self-publishing. Um, you know, back in the old days, you'd have to find a publisher, you'd have to do this, you'd have to do that, you'd have to jump through so many different hoops to make a book. Whereas Amazon, it kind of cuts that, cuts out the middleman and allows you, obviously, whatever product you put out there, you want to make sure it's, you know, up to par. But this feature that Amazon has, it, it, it it gives you as an athlete an opportunity to really make it a name for yourself and really have something that's going to stand the test of time. You know, a book is forever. Unless you take it off the shelves, it's something that will last the test of time. And um, it's, a, it's a great way to, you know, make money and also um, create your voice. So I definitely think um, that's a viable option as an athlete um, if they are interested. Um, another one is, and this is kind of an extension of the affiliate option is you can become an Amazon influencer. So if you look on the amazon.shop page, they have a bunch of athletes that are already on this platform. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, uh, Serena Williams, Sydney LaRue, Josie Altador. And it's basically uh, an extension of the affiliate program. So it's basically the fact uh, or the ability to use your Amazon affiliate link and to create it to a whole store. So rather than just creating a link for each product that you have, that you want to promote or want to uh, or want to serve is almost like you have your own storefront of the products that you use or products that you bought from Amazon, and then people can see that, or you can link the whole thing to like a YouTube video or a Facebook post or your Twitter, and now people can see like, all right, I want to see everything in a Moby's kitchen, or I want to see everything in a, a Moby's gym, rather than you know you have to do the products individually piece by piece or link by link. Whereas if I were to do a blog, it's like 10 home products that I use in my home gym. Now I have to link each one individually, whereas an Amazon influencer account, and anyone can apply for it. Um, it's not too hard to apply. I'm not sure of their process or the application process. I, I'm an Amazon influencer. I have my own shop. I'm not on the homepage like those bigger athletes, but I do have my own shop. Um, so it's a way to kind of um, create a, an avenue for yourself to, you know, not only showcase some of the things that you're doing or some of the things that you're using or some of the things that you're buying, but it filters it out in a way where it's easier for your fans or people that want to see what you're doing uh, can see it in a more um, aesthetically pleasing way. So um, you're able to divide it anyhow, 
any way you want. So for me, I'm looking at mine right now. Um, I have like my books, my favorite books on mindset. And then I have all my books on productivity. Then I have a bunch of different books on uh, approval, uh, basically personal finance. And then based on whoever sees my Amazon shop page, they can go on it and see if they like a book and then I'll get an affiliate link, a commission based off that. So I definitely recommend Amazon Influencer. Um, it's a lot easier than the affiliate option and go from there. Um, and then I'm gonna touch on these last three because um, they're a little bit more uh, time consuming if you, um, if you wanna look at it. Uh, Amazon Flex. Uh, so basically if you have, you know, this is more if you're not, uh, I don't wanna say if you're not making the big bucks, but this is more if you, if you want it more active um, rather than like passive. Amazon Flex is the way for you to basically do like, uh, how can I say, like delivery options from Amazon, um, you know, and help out from that, and that from that standpoint, you know, right share, uh, deliver stuff. Uh, and this is more for like the student athlete that's looking to make some side, you know, side income, you know, and there's been actually professional athletes that have done that as well. Uh, maybe not Amazon Flex specifically, but they've, uh, they've used other services like that to, you know, to make money and, you know, to put money in their pocket for other things, because, you know, as an athlete, you want to use um, other streams of uh, revenue to, you know, spoil yourself and then build your nest egg with the money you're making from your athletic career. Um, another one is Amazon services. Um, up until recently, um, their application process is not really open right now for some reason. Uh, I'm definitely going to look more into that and probably we'll have updates later down the road. Um, but the Amazon services is a way for you to, you know, make money on your expertise. Uh, so basically, for example, if you want to educate somebody or if you want to do like a lawn service or consulting, Amazon services allows you to do that. So imagine it's like a, another task rabbit or another like uh, uh, Fiverr or Upwork type of platform. All right, so I'll be quick. The last two, private labeling, something I'm very excited about. It's something I definitely want to get into. Um, private label is basically um, like white labeling. So you're taking products from Amazon and being able to put your own logo on it or put your own like spin on it and then sell it. So um, a lot of people have been doing that. They'll get products on Alibaba, uh, put their own like logo on it, make sure it's you know, top tier quality or the quality to their standard and then sell it from there. So I think Gronk does this. Gronkowski is a Gronk fitness where he uses a private label service. So for example, if I, if I want to sell resistance bands, instead of trying to make out and source my own, I can, you know, establish a relationship with uh, a partner that's already making them and then just put my logo on them. And it's all about branding. Athletes have brands. Um, and then private label that and make money that way. This one's a very lucrative opportunity for athletes, but the only thing is that you really have to have your, your, your bells and whistles in order because this takes a lot of work and a lot of organization and a lot of execution. So that's really important. And then the last but not least um, way for athletes to make money via Amazon. And lo and behold, there's more ways to make money via Amazon, but these are the most like basic ones that I can um, conceptualize for athletes, you know, athletes at the end of the day is to keep the main thing, the main thing. So these are ways where it's not taking too much time out of your day, um, you know, of your day job of competing and recovering and making sure you perform at a tip top level. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that before, you know, folks would say like, well, I can make, I can make money via Amazon this way or that way. It's like, yes, you can, but as an athlete specifically, uh, these are ways you can make money. So Amazon Live is a new feature for, you know, the crave of e-commerce and like live shopping and consumerism. Um, I think it's really cool to see. Amazon Live allows you to go live and like kind of promote products you kind of have. So for example, if I'm live, I'm actually, for the folks that don't know, I'm on YouTube right now. So I'm showing the folks on YouTube. So say I'm live and I'm like taking a tour of my house or something. I'm like, I show this journal. And it's like, oh yeah, I got this on Amazon. And then I'm able to link it. Um, and now people can click the link and now they're like, 
they're they're able to check out the journal that I got via Amazon, and I'm making money off that. So Amazon Live is a new uh, is a new option that they're doing. Um, it's already happening in China in terms of like live e-commerce and videos and stuff like that, where people will go on live uh, or live platforms and kind of like showcase the products that they're using or things that they're using or things that they bought. Like, for example, like I just bought these headphones because I was tired of using my AirPods. Um, and sorry for the folks that are, are listening via Clubhouse. I'm like explaining it like you guys are seeing me, but it's like if I had like a pair of headphones and I'm talking about it and explaining it via live, now people can say like, oh, okay, I want those same headphones that Amobi has, he's using it, and these are the reasons why. Um, Amazon Live gives you that option, and it's an ability to make money on the back end as an athlete. Uh, like athletes are already on live quite a bit, whether it's on Instagram Live or you know, Twitter or, you know, Facebook or YouTube. So why not, you know, do unique ways or unique offerings via, via Amazon? Um, so yeah, that's kind of it from the standpoint of making money via Amazon. Um, for the folks that are listening to Clubhouse, I appreciate you guys uh, for staying on. If you guys have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask. We're on Clubhouse every Monday, 5.30 p.m. CST, Central Standard Time. And then on YouTube, um, we're definitely going to expand on this more. I'm going to have more future videos, probably kind of like a walkthrough. Um, but for now, I just wanted to showcase, you know, some of the ways that athletes could make money via Amazon. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, uh, if you're on Clubhouse and have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just raise your hand. If not, I'm going to let the room uh, linger for like 30 seconds to a minute, and then we'll go from there. Um, and for context, just to let you guys know, this was recorded on YouTube and um on uh, or just on youtube as well as clubhouse so we did get we did get a question so uh jay how are you doing today oh most definitely appreciate you for you know uh, asking a question and uh, best of luck for you as you uh join the amazon journey uh, have a great day